Welcome back to God of War, Ghost of Sparta, we're playing this off the PS3 HD collection. A year ago we played Chains of Olympus, so I decided Ghost of Sparta should be the next to finish off the PSP collection. And at some point in the future, I'm probably going to play God of War 3, so let's just jump right into this, playing on normal difficulty. Taken his place amongst the Olympians as the God of War. This game is right after God of War 1. Had finally brought him king. Ares was dead, and though Olympus beckoned, visions of his mortal existence still haunted him. Chains of Olympus is first, then it's God of War 1. Then it's good, this one, God of War goes to Sparta, and after this, you go to God of War 2, 3, and 2018. Ascensions is basically the very, very first game, but we don't talk about that one. That's not very good. This was not a mere vision, for with the gods, nothing was ever as it seemed. The vision of his past set Kratos in search of answers. Answers that lay in the temple of Poseidon, deep within the city of Atlantis. This is not a wise course of action, Kratos. It was a dream, nothing more. The visions still haunt me, Athena. The visions you promised to take. But this vision, I can change. Perhaps it is a vision best left unchanged. There is more to this than you know. Please. You suck, Athena. Come at me, sons of bitches. Haven't played God of War in a long time. Kind of like the beginning of uh, God of War One. Yeah. When God of War One began on a boat, not the same boat. This is Sparta, motherfucker. I'm right. We're not gonna open. You don't need to open that chest, but let's just do it for the fun. Because we're full health, right? And in the first one we fought the Hydra, now we're fighting a Kraken. Although we also fought a Kraken in God of War 2. Actually this might be the same Kraken from God of War 2, but this is the events before God of War 2.
Yeah. This is your best combo, just just so you know. Square square triangle. It interrupts and kind of stuns for a few seconds. Small enemies like that, you grab them because it's a one-hit kill. Get the red orbs. You know, people get st stuck and baited into using L1 and square, L1 and triangle, but they can interrupt you while in those animations, and you don't do much damage. While square square triangle is your go-to combo. It interrupts, stuns for a second, and does high damage. This might not be the same Kraken from God of War 2. Because you defeat it right here. So I think it's a different... It's a different monster. Similar, but not the same. Yeah. This is like the one on Chains of Olympus. Yeah, it's, it's a different monster. That is your go-to combo, I'm telling you. If you try to combo these little shits, it's gonna take a lot longer to defeat them. While if you just grab them, This way they just die on one hit. And you need to learn to dodge and counter almost every attack you can. I know how to play, and I've played this game before. You don't need to fucking... I've played every single God of War game. I know how they work. And I remember most of them. And we're getting trophies that don't count to anything because it's an emulator. You can't sync it to your PlayStation account. I don't think. Can I? It would be nice, right? How much do we? Twenty nine fifty. Okay. We got our first secret chest. Try to break as much as you can, because stuff gives you red orbs. And look for secrets. The chests in the God of War games are not always like super hard to find. If you just pay attention to your surroundings.
you will easily get where you need to go. We're gonna make a quick save in in case of a crash or something like that just to make sure that we don't start from the beginning right that's something I learned from playing Prince of Persia and God of War in the past that If you don't remember where all the secrets are, just make sure if there are multiple options to go. And if you know which one is the main way to continue, since they are pretty linear for the most part. You want to go to the secondary path and make sure that I can go anywhere else and then we continue. God of War 3 I think as far as secrets go is the most secretive with its chest. I think that's water. Uh, I can't can dive. What the fuck? I was trying to dodge the Minotaur. I guess I got stuck in an animation, so... What the fuck? I haven't played in a long time, so I've lost my God of War training. I mean, I've gotten a platinum on every God of War game that has trophies, so... That means I've been every single one on the hardest difficulty. I think that speaks volumes that I, I did have what it takes. That's where we need to go. So we're gonna check all our options. Huh? See? Telling ya. Once you've played one, you kinda know what to expect. Whoops. I mean, this this way might actually be faster than having to, to shoot me back. Like I said, I'm not back to my to my form to counter and and dodge. Whoops. Sorry guys.
Oh, they killed my guy? Fuck you. Sons of bitches. I always press R2 to open boxes because that's how it was for God War 1 and 2. And those are the last ones that I that I played. Because I said that I played Chains of Olympus last year, but... After that, I got Platinums for God War 1 and 2. On the Vita, so... Where are you gonna go? Fuck! That's what it is. Alright. I see there's a chest up there, so we're gonna get that rock. I'm gonna go get the red orbs. Make sure there's nothing else. He actually pushes quite fast. I'm surprised. Usually he doesn't push as fast. Yeah, anybody else wants to fuck with me? I'm down. You can come at me any day you want. Boom. I see him, I see him all. Anything else? Nope. Getting back into it. You can fuck with me now. I'm telling you, man. You gotta make sure you check all your options. Make sure you don't miss anything. I mean, I'm not going for a platinum or anything like that, so. I've already done it once. Don't have to do it again. It's just for the for fun. Of Thanatos, the god of death, a vestige of a long forgotten time. Erected before the rule of the Olympians, 
This temple was not placed here by mortal hands. Within its walls, there passage to the domain of death. No shit. Another one. And another one. This one has quite a lot of orbs. Okay. So we need to get some other stuff before we can get in there. I mean, it makes sense. Can't just go there from the beginning, right? There's nothing here. Boom. Still haven't got our magic yet. That's why things are not as crazy as you would think for a God of War game. We'll get there. God of War Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta are games that really push the PSP limits. I don't think any other PSP game pushed the limits of the system for its visuals and constant frame rate like Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. I think these two God of War games really show that the PSP can do some crazy crazy stuff. Because both of these games look incredible. And they perform incredible on the PSP itself. This is the HD PS3 collection, but it doesn't feel much different than the PSP version. I can say that with certainty. I don't believe any other PSP game pushed the limits of the system. Like these two. Oh. That's a God of War. Oh, the Wilhelm stream. As well, a God of War tradition. But the Cyclops are another tradition. And uh, another tip, if you are full on health, don't open the green chests. Because a lot of times you might need them after a fight. And you can just go back to them. Like this one that I didn't take down by the stairs. If I need to, I can get back to it after this fight. So don't, don't waste chests if you are full. Or if you are close to full, don't use the chests until after a fight that could occur. Don't risk it. You're gonna feel terrible that you could have used those chests, but you didn't. See, now if I got an low health in this fight, I can just go back to this chest and use it. Alright, I want to see what's down here, see? I saw that that's where I needed to go, so I came back to check that I didn't miss a chest or something. You see those two chests here? You know you can get to them. If 
from that point, probably. But I, uh, I think this is a good place to end this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, hit a notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos. And I hope I catch you all in the next one.